All right. That was a long inter story intermission. Oh. Now this is a classy power plant, my friends. This is some high quality power. What? Oh, that is so cool. It's like an eye thwomp. That's right, Parker. What? Ooh! Whoa! What? So it's trapped by the light, I guess? Parky! Oh, Parky, please, not now. Okay. So these are some of the things that were in our field notes, I guess. The field notes, I guess you don't have to have interacted with something to find a field note. Um, just shows up there. So that's interesting. That's, ooh. I guess we're in like a haunted library sort of deal. I always like when games have a nice wide variety of things. Not just like the grass level, the mountain level, the cave level, the different kind of grass level. You know, like there's a Mega Man ZX, or Mega Man Zero Three, I think, has this cool, like, underwater, like, library thing. And, uh, it's just a really cool, interesting environment to, uh, have gone through. Why, why do we have ghosts? I mean, it's a very nice, fancy place. I, I, why, why can't you put the ghosts in a, in a crappier place, you know? I guess the ghosts... Maybe they're just ghosts with a lot of taste, you know? Very tasteful ghosts. What's with the sparkle line? <clears throat> this isn't really related to the game, but uh, whenever I do, you know, these long series, I, I tend to talk a little bit about, you know, life, uh, what's been going on for me, um, and just things I think are important. In fact, you can find uh, way back, well not way back, but like last year the in my Valhalla, you can find a little bit of rumblings on uh, religion and I'm kind of amazed that nobody like popped in and was like, tap tap, I'm so offended, how dare you? And all of that kind of wonderful crap. Um, it's a highly unpleasant converse, like topic to talk about in almost any context really. Um, that's right, Parker. But, you know, I hit it in episode, like, 30 or something. So, I'm not sure... Huh? Oh. I guess it toggles which doors are locked? Or, I guess there's one-way doors. I guess that's how it works. Okay. Um, I love that eye-opening thing. Um, yeah, I like to talk about things sometimes. I can use words. I'm a words-make-face person, friend. Right? Can you really make this? Ooh. Uh-oh. Okay, so these go way, way crazy far. Okay. That's good to know. Uh-oh. Actually, I kind of want you to, yeah, eat my face. Thank you. Yeah, just eat that up. <clears throat> Not sure exactly what the deal is with those. I guess if you just eat the plant, and then it goes... I guess the plant is counteracting the switch, is why that works. I don't know. <clears throat> anyway, onto the thing I actually wanted to talk about. So, in your time on this planet, you'll find some people that um, that always seem to be everybody's friend, and you know, they'll support anybody. Um, they'll always have something nice to say, and um, eventually you'll find out. Hey, you know, there'll be some. Oh right, I forgot about the water physics. That's right, Parker. Eventually, this sort of person will have two very contradicting opinions on one, um, you know, bit of drama. Say, you know, Bob shot John, and, you know, and John wasn't actually doing anything. And, you know, you see, you see Jim, and he's talking... Okay, the names aren't helping, but, but you know, they're comforting both sides. They're like, hey... That guy should deserve to be shot. You know, you did the right thing, Jim. Or whatever his name was. Um, and then, but they're also over there, and they're like, Hey, I can't believe that guy shot you. That, that's crazy, you know? 
And then if you ask them about that, it's like, oh no, I, I'm, I'm, I, I try to be neutral, you know? I, I, I just talk to everybody. I'm friends with everybody. Uh, it's not really... I'm sorry. That's not, that's not how it works. Um, people like that are actually some of the biggest assholes that you will ever meet. Because the thing is... They don't care about anybody. What they care about is that people think they're that they're their friends. They don't want anybody to hate them, so they're a f they don't want to have any real, you know, opinions, any real stakes in anything. They just say whatever. We'll tell it. We'll you know make whoever's in front of them at this exact second like them. You know, they're butt kissers, but worse. And it's just. They pretend like they're your friends, and let me tell you, anybody that's always neutral on everything. They're not your friends. They just want you... They don't want everyone to like them. There's no individual... There's nothing about individuals. There's nothing about morals. There's nothing about, you know, being right. They they want to be the one that's right. It doesn't matter, you know, the actual issue. They're right because they're them. So they just say whatever anybody else wants them to say. And, you know, anytime there's, like, any kind of real conflict, that kind of person is totally useless. Because it doesn't actually matter what they actually think or what you actually need, uh, they're just gonna bullshit through. Um, that kind of person is really terrible. And if anybody is, you know, friends with everybody, and it's, you know, and, you know, they have really suspicious... Oops. Dead. Wait, what? Why am I taking a sit? Okay. There's a sit button. I keep forgetting there's a sit button. There isn't really a reason for a sit button. Anyway. Never trust anybody that wants to be friends with everybody, including all of the shitty people. Because there's ways that they do that, and it's not pretty. You know. Just being a sycophant. And never be surprised when people like that abandon you, because, you know, they didn't actually care about you. They don't care about anybody. They don't care about anything except themselves. It's kind of... It might seem strange, because, you know, oh, they're friends with everybody. How could they be... How could they be selfish? Well... It's because they care more about, you know, having everybody be their friends than they care about, you know, what's right, what's just. Anyway, people like that suck, and if anybody is like, oh yeah, I'm everybody's friend, you know, I, I, I don't like to talk politics, I don't like to, you know, I, everybody, everybody's nice and friends. You, you look, you look that motherfucker in the eye and you'd be like, I'm watching you. Because, uh... Oh, hey! We don't have to do the puzzles! Oh, we have to do the puzzles, don't we? There's no way we don't have to do it with the puzzles. Okay, the vents are redirected. That should do it. It's gonna break, and we're gonna have to do the things. I'm calling it. Shboop. Get out of here. This, this sea dragon thing, it's actually one of those people that pretends to be everybody's friends. That's why we're shoving, like, poison gas down its gullet. It's, it's cannon. Anyway, sorry if that's a weird topic, but I've just met people like that in communities, and it's like, they're always a fucking problem at some point. And I'm sorry to swear, I, I try not to swear too much unless it's necessary, but those sort of people are the worst. They're always going to cause a problem. They're always going to be jerks. They, they're, you're always going to find out that somebody does some horrible crap, and they're telling you, oh, that, that's so terrible, I can't believe that. And then you find out they were talking to the person who's horrible, and they're like, Yeah, you should do that thing! Yeah! Yeah, you're the good guy! Because they tell that to everybody. Fuck those people. Those people suck. Huh. I guess I was wrong. I guess there was no, um... No lens puzzles. Okay. That's a shame. That was, like, my favorite place. And we cut it short. Okay. Whatevs. I guess we get to include the narrative section in this video, too, because it's only nine minutes. Yeah, I... I'm pretty shy and stuff, but... I know good people and bad people when I see them, for the most part. And... There's a certain kind of people, I'm not sure what to call them, but it's this kind of... Well, Machiavellian is a word. You know... They just have this mindset that everyone's got to be my friend. And no matter who I have to quietly push under the bus to, do, to make that happen, I'll do it. And uh, it just bothers me that so many people don't seem to see that in people. 
Because it's really obvious, in my opinion. At least, once they start... Once something is, like, really one-sided and, like, no one could believe, you know, one side. And they're still like, yeah, yeah, it's, it's you. You're, you're the good guy. And it's like, I don't know, you're one of those, aren't you? They always expose themselves at some point. Anyway, I always know I could defend on you, Aleph. Only one more power plant to go. I'm just doing my job. You're killing it, Aleph. We're also making a progress out here in Whiteforge. The weapons are nearly finished. Soon, we'll just have to wait. It's the lobby of the lighthouse. Uh, I guess we'll reach the next place and uh, we'll just go right into the next um, platforming segment for the next uh, level. <clears throat> hmm. I should get some rest before. Oh. Uh, oh, let's talk to Yara. She probably doesn't want to see me, but hey. This is the sort of thing that in, in real life I would be like, nope! We're never talking to Yara ever again. Or like, I, I, I would at least wait for them to talk to me first, and then they would probably also wait for me to talk to them first, and then we would just never talk ever again. That's how it happens sometimes. Oh, Yara's... You hear Yara? Okay, no, Aleph... Continuing to be literally me, Aleph is like, nah. She's like, nah, that's... That sucks. I always hate... <gasps> food! I'm sorry, we have to get some food. Um, give me that fried egg bowl. Give me that fried egg bowl. Yes. It does absolutely nothing, but you gotta get some foods. Alright. I forgot we live in wherever now, don't we? We're too fancy for Yara now. We live in Windsweep Towers. Which sounds like a Spyro level. I would play Windsweep Towers. Where's Spyro, by the way? We, we, we got Crash. Honestly, I always like Spyro more than Crash. You know, they're, they're both great, but Spyro is more my speed. The sort of exploration, the silliness. Crash was pretty freaking hard. And uh, it just didn't do it for me as much. I never did finish Crash. Uh, where are we going? Oh, yeah. Weird, it made me go to. S Wait. Wait. Oh. I was so busy with whatever I was talking about, I completely forgot to do the thing that I went to do. Try the apartment. Sleep! Big day tomorrow. We're gonna get rid of, uh, Garudon. Okay, just one more GM to fight off. It's my apartment. Yep. Very quiet little segment here. <clears throat> Oops, no, I don't want to go to Windsweep Towers. Well, let's go home. Ugh, there's going to be a big nasty storm tonight. And I have no idea if I'll be able to, like, operate the roads tomorrow morning or not. Wait, did I inspect the duckies? Or the burbs? Whatever these are. These fish are jumping out. Yeah, yeah I remember that. that. That feels like it'll be relevant later. <clears throat> Wait, where am I going? Alright, it's this way and up. Okay. Feels like we're done with everything on this continent. I wonder if we're nearing the end or if there's like a fourth... Because this is Act 3, right? When there's acts, there's usually three acts, you know? Is that a play thing? I think that is. Ooh! Some tall plants! Am I ready to start the mission? Yes. Ooh. Wait, no, that's not that's not Garudon. That's that boss from Zelda from from um um It's the goat boss from Majora's Mask. Mayor at Riverton, the final plant, the last geomes here. You know the drill. Oakley Dokley. Riverton, historic farming town. <sighs> Good old farming towns. Oh, it's like a I like that parallax. It feels like a well, it is. It's a big old field. Extremely big old field. Oh, we've got some... We've got some, uh... Some platforming stuff going on. All right, is there going to be a, a town drama this time, or no? I'm just going to be quiet. 
guess quiet's alright sometimes, too. Sometimes it's okay to break the flow a little bit. Ooh, pretty. Oh, I love old bridges like that. Hey, buddy. Hi there. Why are you standing here? Just standing guard, miss. I patrol the outskirts of Riverton. Oh, I see. Is there a lot of crime in Riverton? There is not, miss. Hmm, well, that's good. Yes, it is, miss. May not be a lot of crime here, but you never know. Safety is key. Okay. It's not creepy at all. Ooh! This town has- this, this building has a ribbon on it. It must be high quality. Hello, and welcome to the Riverton Cafe! Let me know when you're ready to order. Our daily special is the River Shroom Soup. Ah, oh, no! No, not mushrooms. How dare you. I like mushrooms as, like, creatures, but not as, like, food. Uh-oh. I think one of these boatmen only tells the truth, and one of these boatmen only tells lies. We may ask one question. Oh, hello there. I'm in the market for a boat. I'm open for question. Not right now. Your work's beautiful, though. Thank you. This is a modern take on traditional Riverton patterns from the distant past. I want to reveal the natural beauty of our local Riverton trees, not just treat through it as a material towards an end goal. I think that the skillfully carved boat can help its occupant to make a connection with the surrounding environment. It's a mistake to focus only on the function of the boat. It creates an antagonistic relationship with nature. I hate this guy. Can I push him in the water? Hey there. Looks like you're for the city. Yeah, I'm a technician for Whiteforge. Spread the word to all your city friends that Ao's Riverton made boats for the smoothest ride in all the land. My boats are sturdy, dependable, perfectly aligned every time. Uh, will do. I believe the best way to honor our gorgeous Riverton trees is to craft vessels of the utmost quality. A well-made boat has purpose and brings value to its owner. It's not simply a frivolous ornament. I like that guy slightly more than the hippie guy. He's still a salesman, so I still hate him, but I hate him slightly less. Stamp. <laughs> you must be the city technician here to remove that geom creature. Welcome to the Riverston Post Office. We take care of everyone's mail birds. Mail birds allow quick communication between Riverton and the surrounding farmlands. It's a very important service. Do you want to send a message? Message board? Sometimes people send messages to no one in particular. The mail birds stick these messages to the mail board. So it's like Animal Crossing. Good old mail birds. Oh, let's just have a chat. Working here, I see all the mail birds coming and or going. Did you really come to intuit a lot about people by their mail habits? I never let on though. Uh huh. Oh, the bird turned into a ghost. Hi there, miss! Eyes dart towards trophies. <laughs> Whose trophies are these? These are my trophies. My homeroom class says I'm the best swimmer, weightlifter, science fair project creator, mathematics contest solver, cooker, local charity society member, history test taker, scholastic bowl answerer, robotics club engineer, artist club painter, and artist club sculptor. I'm way better than you. Wow. Uh... Where are your parents? They're at work. Missouri teaches me. Do you know the mom and dad make the trophies? There's all, you're the only student here, aren't you? Hi, miss. Whose trophies are these? Oh, these are my sisters. Mine are in the house. I only get a few, though. Aw. Don't abuse your older... J oh, I get it. It's th they give all the love to the younger one. Harsh. I don't have any parents. You must be the poor middle child. Yeah, but I want one. Just steal him. Beat her over the head with it. She deserves it. They're working right now. They work in an office in the woods. I'm not sure what they really do. Recently, my dad's been trying to uh, take your child to work day, but like, hey, why would I want to go? He asks me every week. Isn't it funny that they have a special day every week? Ugh, that sounds terrible. Say that, ma'am. Have you been to Riverton before? Look at this guy's... Look at that eyebrow jiggle. <laughs> so this city, have you heard about our little town? Well, it's a farming community. You're known for your craft persons, and people like to come here for vacation. That's about it, huh? <laughs> oh, okay, that's a fair summary to me. 
Well, ma'am, as you enjoy our little town of Riverton, just remember, we've got history. Riverton used to be a large agricultural-driven town before food production centralised in White Forge. Things aren't as big as they used to be here, but we get by. Riverton, it, it always gets by. We find a way. Have a nice day now. He just sits on that bench all day looking smug and just waits for people to ask him questions that he can one-up them with. Like, yes, quite. I am an intellectual. I'm the junior gatekeeper. Do you have the key to the gate? I keep asking for it, but the gatekeeper says that it does not fall under my jurisdiction. Don't you think I should have it? I am the junior gatekeeper. Ah, uh, this town sucks. Where's the gatekeeper? I need to fight off the creature. Gatekeeper left on important business. If you go to the post office, you can send a message to the gatekeeper via mailbird. I don't have time for this boat on crap. Why can't I just push everyone into the water and let them float downstream and uh, just let nature take its course? Can I go inside? I don't want to go in there anyway. It, it smacks of privilege. What should I read? Boats are for rivers, not art galleries. Learn the fundamentals, bitch. I'm learning about lots of complaints about the old wheat, bad wheat bugs this year. And I'll say it again, diversify your crops. If you don't diversify your crops, I'm gonna bust a cap. I've got a ton of other fields besides wheat, so I'm good. And you're not, because you're not diverse. How are those not ads? Hey. Who's gonna get rid of that giant creature? It's trampled half my soybeans. Uh, the only people gonna care when it tramples their stuff? Harsh. Okay, we have to mail bird this stupid asshole with his key. I don't know why these ma these these people make me angry. I'm sorry. I blame the boat guy. Ugh. You didn't even send the bird. You said you would. You you. Ugh. This place has bad juju. These people just suck. Yeah, you're the junior gatekeeper. I... Yeah. Are you a monster hunter? Do you mo hunt monsters? Actually, I'm a technician. I uh, fix the power plants. But you're gonna hunt the monster? Monster hunting falls under your jurisdiction? Uh, sort of? I'm here to repair the station and then redirect the exhaust vents. You know what I feel like while I'm here? I feel like I'm Squidward, and everyone here is Spongebob. That's what this place feels like to me. Can I be a junior monster hunter? I want to redirect exhaust vents. I will redirect an exhaust vent directly into your windpipe. How about this for a catchphrase? Consider your exhaust vents redirected. I wish I had a gun. Hee <laughs> hee. Well, maybe one day you can work for the city as a technician like me. Oh. Sorry about the wait. Very busy, is it? Important business. I'm this guy. I talk like this. No, you cannot have the key. You got it stuck last time. I will grow my capabilities as junior gatekeeper unless I am given opportunities for a hand on experience in the real world. This will not build my resume. This is not my CV. This is not what my college advisor recommended for my career growth opportunities and synergy relationships. The good technician here is in a hurry to get through, Aaron. Let me do it. Oh, alright. Thank you. I, I guess I should talk to them even though I hate them. Thanks for your help! Uh, don't mention that. Why do you lock- Who- Who puts a gate on a bridge? Like- Whatever, I hate these people. All right, next time we will explore the the, the uh, power plant, which hopefully infuriates me less than these weird dumb people that I don't like. <laughs>